Then how do you feel? When he was in college, Kenneth Lee got a call from his father. The conversation was brief and direct. His father, a Korean immigrant, did not approve of his son taking grant money to pay for tuition. You will pay back the government somehow. You figure it out. So to his father's pride and his mother's horror, he joined the National Guard and stayed in to help pay for school at the Medical College of Wisconsin. Dr. Lee re-enlisted and became Colonel Lee, the top medical professional in the Wisconsin National Guard. In 2003, his unit was called to Iraq. We're more of a um, ER type of uh, unit that can move around. There were some close calls. We had um, actual uh, firefights come uh, close to us. But none closer than the one September 12, 2004. Out of nowhere came a suicide car bomber straight to us and ran into our convoy. And then next thing I know, I wake up in the ER. Dr. Lee cannot remember much of that day. These are our own pictures. That's and as he tours us around right the VA hospital, is almost nonchalant about a photograph of the event that almost took his life. This was minutes after the suicide bomber? Correct. He looks perfectly fit and strong, but there is a lasting effect from that September day. Dr. Lee suffered a traumatic brain injury. His short-term memory is quite weak. If I don't have it down in my BlackBerry, you know, even though my wife told me about four hours ago, it will be out the window. I've been going through a lot of notepads here. Luckily, a lot of my secretaries are constant reminders to me. They remind me about a lot of things. Remarkably, his medical knowledge was intact, but things were not quite right at home. He was in denial about how much his injury had affected him emotionally, but his daughter sure wasn't. The PTSD that I would constantly deny. As a physician, it was embarrassing to have that diagnosis. You know, my daughter finally said, you know, you don't smile anymore. It just, bang, it just hit you. Lee, the doctor, knew he wasn't done being Lee, the patient. Once you get the treatment, it's definitely treatable or at least controllable, maybe not 100% treatable. And so I wish I would have uh, asked for this treatment earlier. It was his courage to get help and his candor in sharing it that improved his relationship with patients, all of whom have also served our country. Does that help you have more faith in him because he's been there? Oh, definitely. Yeah, he's done it all. Yeah, great man. I want to say I, I am a better doctor because of this. Uh, at least from a veteran standpoint, I'm connecting with these veterans very well. And that includes bicycle therapy. Lee's injuries prevent him from riding upright, but he loves to ride and has made cycling part of his therapy and his patients. The message he has to all those injured in battle is to get back to doing what you love as soon as physically possible. His message to the military is more direct. Don't forget the families back home. They need help too. I'm a product of war. Don't look at me as a casualty. I'm not a casualty. Um, it's my wife and kids that are the true casualty. You created this when you sent me over to Iraq, so live with it. But if you want to take care of somebody, take care of the casualties back at home.